All right, the soldier boys, the lucky fountain of Volta Fiore is now open. You want a good luck? Just to throw in a little and you wish to come too. Thank you very much. All right, the soldier boys, anybody want to change? Change? Anybody want to just throw in? That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> All right, what is going on here? What is going on? Buongiorno, Capitano. Please, everybody, step back. I'm sure the Capitano wants to make a wish. Just to throw a lid in the fountain, and you got a good look. <laughs> I'm not throwing anything in any place. Now, get out of here. Scram, vamos. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this of vamos? You got a big nerve. <laughs> Don't you tell me what I've got, because I know what you've got. You've got another racket going, that's what you've got. Bah! Come his area. Who do you think you are insulting the historical good luck fountain of a Voltefiore? I am the military governor. That's who I am. Well, you know who I think you am? I think you am a big pain in the neck. <laughs> How dare you talk to me like that? Well, all right, I talk another way. Lay, say, un imbecile. Il più grande imbecile in tutto il mondo. What is he saying? Is that dirty? I don't know, sir. I haven't got my dictionary. Well, get a detail over here and close this phony thing up on the double. I said... Wait a minute. You can't do that. All right. I'm going to write to your president and get you fired. You get your finger out of my nose. Well, you get your long nose out of my business. You beat it, you phony. Beat it. Beat it. All right. I go. But first, I gotta take out of the coins from my phone. You're not taking anything out of any place. You built United States servicemen out of those coins, and they belong to them. You flip, you lead. This is mine. Who do you think pays the water bill? Please excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Perfectly all right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Give it a second thought, Max. Come on, Max. Well, Volta Fiore, here we come. There'll be a hot time in the old piazza today, huh? Yeah. Italian dictionary, I want to talk to my day. Who wants to talk? I like pantomime, scooby dooby doo <laughs> Hey, Chuck, what's cooking? Huh? Well, nothing. Why? Smell something burning? No, no. Uh, what I meant was, uh, have you got a date for the day? Me? Oh, no, I'm just gonna take some snapshots from a scrapbook, you know, some of the historic ruins. Why don't you take a picture of Gruber's date? I've seen her. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Get out of this look, a rugged-looking guy like you. Why, I should think you'd have all the gals chasing you. Why, sure thing, Mr. Parker, you're a tiger. Sure, you're a cinch. You know how the dames go for a guy in uniform. Hey, you don't have to tell me. That's how I lost my girl back home. She ran off with a fireman. No, I never have any luck with girls, huh? <laughs> Skip, I sure feel sorry for Mr. Parker. Yeah, me too. Well, stop feeling sorry and let's do something for him. You mean find him a girl? Oh, that should be tougher than the D-Day landing. Well, look, we got to convince him he's not a loser. It's not all bad luck. I think I got a way. Well, Tell us what you're going Wait a minute. Look, this may sound crazy, but the mayor just opened up that phony uh, good luck fountain of his, right? Well, why don't we use it to uh, get Mr. Parker a girl? You'll never go for it. Why, anybody with half a brain knows it's a fake. But then again, we're talking about Mr. Parker. Huh? Let's try it. Oh, 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 oh. I tell you, Chuck, I got a feeling today's going to be your lucky day. Yeah, me too. I think I'm going to get some great pictures, boy. Hey, what I tell you? Say, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, hey, grab me over. <laughs> look, boys, we got to work fast. Now, look, Virgil, I want you to go and find Maria. I know she'll help. Now, hey. Hey, Mayor Lugato, why isn't the phone working? How come you got it all boarded up? I don't got it boarded up. You know who got it boarded up? That Capitan of yours with the eggplant for a head. Oh, murder. He would. Now, now, tell me, Mr. Mayor, why did he do it? Why did he do it? Because he had the nerve to call this, this famous, historical, gorgeous, good luck like fountain of Volta Fiori. A phony rack. Well, isn't it? My shoes. But that's none of his business. <laughs> I hope, I hope it's a gold braid that turns green. Busy, busy, busy. One staff meeting after another. 
Certainly not easy to be a military governor. Here comes that cockamamie Capitano right now. Oh, fare my yourself. Get away from the jeep. I'm on my way to the airstrip. Oh, good. They send you back to the United States, my niece. <laughs> the captain is not going back to the States. He is going to Palermo for two days to a staff meeting. Shut and when he... your big mouth. You don't have to explain anything to that him. Right. Right. Have, have a nice trip, Captain. Have a nice Thank trip. Arrivederci. Auf Wiedersehen. Aloha. Good to read it. This bunch is up to something. I can tell that. Oh, no, sir. When I get back here, this town better be exactly the way I left it. Shove off, big mouth. Bye, Captain. Bye. Bye, bye, sir. Bye. <laughs> Skip, what a break. Yeah, when the rats are away, us cats will play. Maybe we can still help, Mr. Parker. Hey, maybe you're right. Hey, what do you say, Amico? Do you think you could open up the fountain there just for a little while? Well, I like it too much. It's a big risk. Oh, well, how big do you figure it would be? Uh, maybe in the neighborhood of uh, 50 lira? Well, I like a much nicer neighborhood, the 200 lira. Oh, boy. Well, it's not a nice for an honest man to go against the military governor's orders. 100 lira. I open up. <laughs> All right, the boys, we open up. Go on. Let's go. It's pushing time. Stand for a laugh. Do you want a luck? Turn a book. A book for luck. Thank you very much. Maria, we'll never forget you for doing this for us. You'll be making a lonely American very happy. The Navy will remember you forever. You're very patriotic. See, and also I'm out of nylons. <laughs> but how do I know this Mr. Parker? What does he look like? Well, no, I'd say he's kind of... Uh, well, I think he's sort of like... Uh, well, I, I think he's... <laughs> you save yourself the trouble, Skip. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, that's him, Maria. I'm afraid this is going to cost you two more pair of nylons. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. You said... All right, cough them up, boys. No. No? Yes. <laughs> there go the last of my secret weapons. All right. Now, Maria, before you get these, this is what we want you to do. <laughs> I take a picture of you while you throw the planes in the fountain, all right? Hey, yeah. That'll make a great picture. Um, <clears throat> hey, boy, uh... Hey, could you lend me a couple of coins? Use your own coins. It's your picture. <laughs> well, I don't have any. All I got's a dollar bill, no coins. You just, uh, uh... Now you got a coin. Throw in the coins in the fountain and make a wish. You want to be admiral? The fountain is going to help you. <laughs> ah, buongiorno, signor. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Skip. How are you? I'm going to have my picture taken by the mayor. <laughs> you know, he says I could be an admiral just by throwing a coin in a fountain. Kind of silly, isn't it? Uh, please, don't call my fountain a silly, eh? That's right, Chuck. Now, this good luck fountain really works. All the time. Yes, sir, it never misses. Well, I've had the choice of wishing to be an admiral or meeting a beautiful doll. I know what I'd pick. You do? <laughs> yes, sir. Being an admiral's a cinch. But glomming on to a beautiful gal, that doesn't happen every day. I'd be happy to happen to me once a year. <laughs> well, come on and give it a try. What do you got to lose? Uh, the only kind of luck I ever have is bad luck. Look, why don't you do like Tinker says? Why don't you wish for a beautiful signorina? Well, okay. Here wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, let's take a picture while you're doing it. Take a picture. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I got a lovely pack for Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, from now on, you're going to have nothing but great luck. That's all right. You think so? Nothing's happened yet. Oh, well, the fountain doesn't work just for like that to patoom. No, you, you got to give a little time. You Americans are always in such a big rush. Help! Please! My, my bicycle is running away. Quick, Chuck! Somebody save her! Oh, yeah, a runaway bike! Help. Somebody better do something. Yeah, you're, you're here, you, Chuck. You're the closest. Please. Yes, I All right, help. Help. Oh, a lady here. I can help. 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 Yeah. Save my yeah. life. Well, you're uh, welcome, Miss Grazzi, but uh, <clears throat> uh, please, we, ha we haven't been introduced. I oh, you need to introduce you as my hero. Yeah, Chuck, you are terrific. What a man. That's our instant. Look at him go. Hot the park. <laughs> Mr. Park, what do you think of our fountain now? Eh? It uh, uh, feels pretty good. I mean, uh, oh, see, I'd like to meet some of my friends. Oh, I don't want to meet anyone but you. <clears throat> you don't. <clears throat> well, it's uh, <clears throat> understandable, I suppose, but... Guy risks his life for a girl. <laughs> Reason enough, she should be crazy about him. Ah, oh, you're so right, Chuck. Yes, sir. Well, we just wanted to see that you two are both okay. Oh, what a beautiful name. Yeah. Oh, and you are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>
Well... Bellissimo. Can't we go somewhere and talk? Uh, talk? Well, I'm not a very good conversationalist, but uh, I suppose we could give it a try. <laughs> uh, well, boys, uh, here you go. Have a wish on me. <laughs> good, good boy, our hero! <laughs> Well, that was beautiful, Skip. Yeah, it looked like Mr. Parker's cured. Never mind, Mr. Parker. I'm going to toss in a coin myself. <laughs> Tonight, all right, the boys will step up and make a wish. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a minute, just a minute. Our deal was only until... Oh, please, please, Michaela. Just a couple of hours. Enough to cover expense, if you don't mind. Expense? That's expense. All right, the boys, just come here. This is the lucky round. I told you to shut this phony fountain down. You violated my orders. You violated your own orders. You're supposed to be in Palermo. The captain's trip has been canceled, and he is not going to Palermo. Shut up. I don't have to explain anything to him. Now, you've gone too far this time, my fine feathered friend. I've got you for insubordination, and you're going to the clink. And you can't do this, sir. He's a civilian mayor. And I am the military governor, and he has violated my orders and taken him away, Elroy. No, 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 please, Captain. Let me explain it. Stop, or you will end up in the pokey with him. The rest of you goons, get busy and board up this phony plumbing. You're going to pay for this assassin! Assassin! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Fountain, fountain, here's my wish. The next time the captain goes to sea, may he wind up with the fish. <laughs> go, go. This is a disgrace to Walter Fiore, that I, Mario Lugato, the mayor, should be behind the bars like a monk in a zoo. This is no way to treat a nice, a humble, honest man. All right, it's our fault, and we'll try to get you out. Boy, I'll go along with that. If it wasn't for your fountain, I'd have never met Maria. Boy, can she ever kiss. <laughs> I got an idea. Why don't you throw a coin in the fountain and wish that you were out of there? Why, it's lucky it worked for me. Ooh, if only we could get Binghamton to... Binghamton! That a miserable Capitan. I like to wish him all the bad luck. I wish all of my worst enemies. Hey, just a minute, amigo. I think you got something. If we could make Binghamton believe that, that closing up the fountain was bad luck, that it put the curse of Voltafiori on him, huh? What the curse? That's no curse. Well, look, you know it and I know it. But he doesn't. <laughs> and by the time we got through with him, why, he'd be so shook up that he'd be begging you to open up that fountain. Hey, we get it, Skip. We put the old whammy on leg bottom. And make him think his luck has changed. Kabishi! <laughs> oh, but you do not have to take my word for it, Captain. That's right. You can take mine. <laughs> I am not going to take anybody's word for anything. That curse of Volta Fiori, that's a lot of poppycock. Captain, look, I don't want anything to happen to you because of a broken down fountain. Well, nothing is going to happen to me. Something is going to happen to the mayor. That's what's going to happen to impeachment. I've already notified Colonel Harrigan. But, Captain, look, you can ask any one of those townspeople, and they'll tell you that something terrible has happened every time that fountain has been closed. Especially to the rat who closed it. <laughs> you get goofy out of here. All right, sir. We tried to warn you. But, for instance, this is actually what happened during the War of 1806. A certain General Von Gilder, am I right? Right. A General Von Gilder closed the Fountain of Volta Fury. And a horrible thing happened. The curse was on him. Standing right out in the middle of the square, Boulder hit him on the head. Kaboom! <laughs> sir... We've had our differences, but uh, it wouldn't be the same around here without you, sir. Well, don't worry, because it's going to be just the same. I'm not going any place, but you are. All right, Captain. We tried, but I sure hope nothing happens to you. Me too. Get out of here. Of course, if it does, it's been nice knowing you. Out! Ha uh ha, -huh, curse is already on you. Never used to miss me. <laughs> Well, how'd you make out? Did the captain go for it? Well, of course not. 
but we accomplished what we went in for. We planted the seed. Right. Come here, come here, come here. Now, are we all set? All set, Skip. Everything's rigged. Just say the word, and the curse of Volta Fiore rears its ugly head. <laughs> oh, and the colonel sees how I handle the mayor's impeachment trial. Oh, I know he'll put me in for something. Probably a citation. Oh, sir, if anyone deserves to get something, it's you. <laughs> what do you mean by a crack like that? Okay, Willie, ready for bombs away. We'll drive over to the judge advocate's office. Oh, what was that? <laughs> The chandelier fell, sir. The chandelier? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, put me down. The slightest little thing happens and you crack up. Put me down. It's over now. Oh, it's so fast. Sorry. The chandelier. You realize I could have been killed? Oh, that was a close call, sir. It's too close for comfort. Imagine a fighting naval man killed by a chandelier. It's almost as bad as being flattened by a boulder. <laughs> sir, do you think it's possible? I mean... The curse of Walter Fiore? Oh, don't be ass and I. We're not living what? in the Middle Ages. Wait, what? get that thing fixed. What did I... Drive my own Jeep. What? I... I... Why am I always wrong? <laughs> you did put the whammy on the cabbage Jeep, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I took out the brake shoes. <laughs> brake shoes? <laughs> brake shoes? <laughs> Capitano, something wrong? You're jailbreak. Oh, Captain, what, what will happen? Oh, the oh. curse of both the Fiori, Sonny! Oh, stop with the stupid curse! Get me out of here! Oh, be careful of me! Oh, now watch everything! Oh, be careful of everything there! Watch everything! All right. Oh, hope nothing's broken. Oh, nothing's broken? You kidding, sir? The axle's broken, the hood's broken, the jail's broken. I don't care about it. I mean, me! I'm just testing, sir, to make sure everything's all right. <laughs> get away from me, that's all. Yeah. Get away! Oh, Oh, you sure had a narrow squeak there, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you could have been knocked off. Uh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Oh, oh no, no, sir. I would. <laughs> sir, sir, are you all right? Did something happen? No, nothing happened. I always stop my Jeep that way. Oh, well, uh, it's just what? a little bad luck, that's all. You know, sir, that curse of Baltifiori could be working. Oh, poppycock on it. It was just an accident. Like that chandelier falling. The chandelier, sir? Why, what happened with the chandelier? Oh, Michaela, the whole sh Oh, never mind what happened to this. Just clean up the mess, that's yes, all. Yes, all right, boys, let's do what the captain says. <clears throat> he may not be with us too long. Uh, it's been nice knowing you, uh, sir. We'll write to Mrs. Binghamton. Yes, what kind of flowers would you like, Captain? Uh, you write to Mrs. Binghamton and I'll... <laughs> let's get out of here. I'll stop that, all of you. Just stop it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Tell you back to the office and tell the judge advocate we're going to be late. Going to be late. Be late. Yes, sir. <laughs> Capitano, it's a later than you think. <laughs> Two close calls in five minutes, sir. I'm beginning to worry. Do you think that curse could be for real? I'm not worried about any stupid curse. Oh! Look out, sir! Look out! Oh, we really got to walk it on his heels. Here, here. This should be the clincher, boy. Go get him. Right, Skip. Come on, Willie. Uh, must have been an accident, that wine barrel. I mean, there couldn't be such a thing as a, as a curse of Volta Fiore, Elroy. There just couldn't be such Easy, a thing. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, what have you done now? I didn't do it. Uh, sir, are you all right, sir? Captain, uh, sir. Captain, uh, Captain, this is urgent. Oh, urgent. What is it? Uh, sir, these orders just arrived at the radio shack for you. I rushed them over on the double right. in case something happened to you. Here, here. Get your hands off me. Really? Uh, yeah, I'll get a seat. Oh, here's the order. What is it? What is it? Well, it looks like a letter. Well, it looks like that to me, too. I... Oh. oh, no, no, they can't do that to me. What is it? Well, these orders, the Navy is sending me to Mermask <laughs> on a suicide mission. Oh, Lord. There is a curse of Walter Fiore. There is. Oh, it's official, sir. You're being transferred to Mermask. Oh, sir, I've never known anyone with such bad luck. Oh, well, all these things have started happening to me since I closed down that fountain. I gotta get the mayor out of jail and get the fountain open. I don't want any more of these things. I'm, I'm too young to die. Sir, just how old are you? Well, I'm only 38. 38. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Come on here, please. Will you hurry? Will you hurry before something else happens All right. to me? All right. You probably don't have very much time, sir. Yeah, remember that General Von Gilder with the bowler? Kaboom! Oh, Elroy, keep your eyes open for bowlers. Hi, sir. <laughs> All right, the boys. She's open for bowlers! 
Let's make it a first wish. Oh, me, me, me. Uh, yeah, make the first wish. Uh, oh, I don't want that curse on me anymore. I want to get those orders changed. I don't want to go to Murmansk. <laughs> fountain, fountain in the square. Keep me where the weather's fair. What kind of wish is that? Oh, not a coward. I just want the orders changed. I can't stand the cold weather. What point? All right, right that's the nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, another message just came in for you. It's marked top secret. Can't you see I'm in the middle of a wish? <laughs> oh, top secret. All right, boy. All right. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, well, well, what's it say, sir? Well, what's it say? Oh, this is the best. I'm not going to Murmansk. I don't have to go. The other orders, they were a mistake. They were for a Captain Bingleman. <laughs> Captain Bingleman? <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be top secret, sir? Well, who cares? The curse is off me. I, my wish came. Oh, love the fountain. Oh, sir, I love the mayor. <laughs> 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 Is this an occupied village or the, the junior prom? Oh, hi, Colonel. <laughs> Those wonderful things just happened to me. I'll bet it did. What'd you do, knock off a case of vino? <laughs> you asked me to come down here and help impeach the mayor. And instead, I find you dancing the tango, both of you together. No, 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 tarantella together. The tarantella. Oh, son. Wait a minute, Colonel. What is this about impeach them? Where did you hear a thing like that? From you. On the telephone. That's where, just a couple of hours ago. Oh, well, that must, that must have been a garble. The, the message was garbled. You know how that... You see, what I said is the mayor is peachy. He's a peachy mayor. Is that what I said, Mikhail? The peachiest mayor in all of Italy. Yes, sir. Just a minute, Mikhail, please. Now, what is all the celebration about? Well, you see, Colonel, I'm the happiest man in the world, and it's all because of the good luck fountain of Volta Fiore. The good luck fountain? Oh, come on. No, <laughs> I don't blame you. Now, you see, I wasn't a believer either, but then all these terrible things started to happen to me, and then I got these orders. Then I got these other orders, Colonel. Changing, where are the orders? Sure. Oh, I better eat the pieces, in case of enemy attack. <laughs> But uh, they were secret orders, sir. Oh, if this isn't the most fouled-up detail of the year, I come down here to help you with an impeachment, and instead I find dancing in the streets and grown-up officers eating secret papers and a lot of silly raving about a stupid, ridiculous, ugly old fountain. Watch your tongue. Oh, please, the fountain will hear you. Colonel, don't make the fountain mad. Now go over there and throw in a coin. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a make wish. A wish. wish. Go on, make a wish. Maybe make if you're wish. lucky, you'll get a girl like mine. Boy, she ever liked a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> of all the nonsensical, medieval hogwash, Grown men actually believing in a silly, ridiculous, ugly, stupid fountain. It's asinine. It's nonsensical. It's moronic. It is infantile. Oh, oh, hey, Chuck. You're not dressed. Aren't you coming with us? Yeah, how about it, Tiger? Well, don't you have a hot day with Maria? Mm. Uh, I got the feeling you guys faked that whole thing with me and a good luck phone. Oh, no, Chuck. Why would you look? Just because we had a shake-up lead bottom doesn't mean that that... I don't care what you say. I don't believe that there's any such thing as a good luck phone or a curse of Volta Fiori. Hey. Oh, boy. I believe. I believe. Hey, wait for me, guys. I'm going to get dressed. Go, go, go. <laughs> What the heck was that? It felt like an earthquake. Do you think maybe there really is a curse? Oh, come off it, will you? <laughs> hey, folks, what happened? Sorry, fellas. Just rang out new stove and blew up. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> 